<laughs> I mean, the fact that he was able to impress Simon is still mesmerizing. I don't, like, I may not watch a lot of American Idol or America has Got Talent, but I know Simon's hard to impress. Yeah, I like, did. I don't watch it either, but I did watch that. Yeah. Man, when I was younger, I used to watch a shit ton of American Idol. I just loved it. <laughs> I used to Fair. watch it just to see how bad some of the contestants were. Like, that ha- get like, so butthurt. Oh, I still god. remember whenever William Hung would come on the show. Oh god, I uh, I've heard of him. I do remember no! there was that one. Oh, I do remember that one time. Um, for I think America's Got Talent or The X Factor, there was a guy that sang terribly, and he got criticized by Demi Lovato. And the dude had the nerve to say, "Well, for one thing, at least I don't use auto tune." Oh. Yeah, and Simon just literally had to hold back a laughter, and Britney Spears, very uncharacteristic for her very nice personality, was like, "Excuse me, who let you on, who let you on stage?" <laughs> it's Britney, bitch. It's Britney, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> this time she God, didn't do fun. it again. This guy fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he did. Um, he played oh, with yeah. her heart. <laughs> he lost the game. Oh god damn it. He played with he played himself and lost his own game. Oh yeah. baby, baby. Oops, you think I did it. That's stuff. God, I still remember having the like, Britney CDs as a kid, along with I mean, like Backstreet Boys and NSYNC. I mean, I can pretty much understand and I can sympathize considering when I was younger, my sister, I literally followed whatever my sisters Fuck. were listening to, and they listened Did to a they? lot of that type of stuff. Oh, if it was, well, they were also on everything. I mean, that too. I mean, my sisters were a big fan and are still big fans of Backstreet Boys. Um, my sister loved the hell out of Justin Timberlake. Got it. I love watching like the old Sabrina TV series because it's like based in the late '90s, and there's so many like '90s references and shit, like In Sync, Backstreet Boys, Britney apparently, Spears was in one episode. Apparently, they had one of the actors from Mortal Kombat on just to like partially advertise the new Mortal Kombat movie. Oh god! I think what worked of the uh, the Sabrina series was just how charming it was. Plus, nah, I love Nick, Nick Bakey as uh, as Salem. I mean, it's Salem. He was always the best part of the show. But then yeah. again, Melissa Jonah Hart still did an amazing job as Sabrina, playing the oh, sort yeah. of dorky witch. I wouldn't even say dorky, but yeah. I'm kind of wondering what she does now these days. I haven't seen her on TV in a long time. Didn't she have some like sitcom a few years back on like ABC Family or something? I think it, I think so. It was called Melissa and Joey. I think. Yeah. But I think if I remember correctly, she stopped acting to raise a kid. Oh, look, stairs. That's a ladder. Oh, ladder. Why am I confused that for stairs? I'm not going that blind, am I? Hmm. Hello. Got a piece of heart. Oh, is this is this the uh, sword guy? Let me see. Give me a second here. <clears throat> You're in the presence of the true master swordsman of High Rule, Grimblade. If you trained with me, you will become a true master swordsman. <laughs> So, what would you like to train here? Yes. You will learn the meaning of power with this technique. The sword beam. First, when your heart is are full. Second, uh, swing your mighty sword. That's really all there is to it, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yes. But this is only the beginning. Now comes the real thing. One must feel the technique, not just hear about it. That's why I will now possess your body to demonstrate the technique. This is the Grimblade switcheroo technique of training. <laughs> Watch this. Switch Whew. <laughs> now you must try it yourself. When your hearts are full, swing your sword with all your might. 
Yes, fine work. Now, you know the way. <laughs> you know the way. Now I will give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with the scroll. How do you forget such a thing? <laughs> okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Oh. Thank you. Come again. Seems a heart. It had nothing. Thanks a lot. How do you just forget that you can shoot a beam out of your sword? I mean, to be fair, it has been several weeks. Huh. No, no, no. Like, he just learned that technique, though. Oh. I mean, meh. It's just like, oh yeah, I can do this. I do like how they use the Wind Waker style for this game. Eh, it's cute. I mean, Wind Waker is probably my favorite Zelda game, so. Isn't that considered the mo the underrated gem of Zelda of the Zelda franchise? Either it used that, to be. Either that or Majora's Mask. Well, a lot of people didn't really like the art style at first, but the cell shading yeah. has held out held up remarkably well. Hmm. So much so that it was remade. Yeah, I wish I could have gotten that version on Switch. It's really weird. Back when it first came out, people thought it was one of the worst Zelda games, but as time went on, it became one of the best ones. Yeah, because so many people bitched about the art style because they were expecting, like, Twilight Princess art style after Ocarina uh -huh. of Time with George Mask. <laughs> yeah. As I, as I say, as I always say, never judge a book by its cover. Mm -hmm. It was so cool because I actually got to play Ocarina of Time right before trying uh, Wind Waker for the first time because I got like I pre-ordered um, Wind Waker and got the bonus disc with the uh, Ocarina of Time regular version and Master Quest on mm. GameCube. I mean, I think another reason why it, um, what was it uh, Wind Waker started to grow more for people was because of the fact that. The chick, I forgot what her name is, that you encounter in the game is technically Zelda. Oh yeah, um, what's her name? Uh, Tetra. Yeah, Tetra. Especially considering the fact that Tetra is a badass, to which people go, oh, she's Zelda? Not gonna That's lie, Wind Waker, Wind Waker probably has one of the darkest stories in the Zelda timeline when you think about it, though. I mean, Hyrule's flooded. The god, the, the three gods who made the Triforce literally said, you know what? Fuck this. And just flooded the entire world. And basically, it's from the timeline where Link what didn't come fuck? back to the future. Yeah, yeah, because if I remember okay. correctly... Uh... Am I supposed to get past the guards or some shit? Rather, do you know anything about this? What was it? No. Apparently, uh, a guard came in and said, "Oh, the king by the king's orders and shit." I'm like, "What the fuck? The king is relying on me to save Hyrule. What the hell? Where did this come from?" You might have to sneak in. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, there has to be a pathway into the castle, so you'll have to sneak your way around. There's a series of guards that patrol past the west side of the garden, but with careful navigation, you can sneak by them after getting past the guards. So I went through my bushes and climb up the ladder. Anyway, as I was trying to... Yeah, you're gonna have to sneak past him. Interesting. Oh, that's right. I mean, let's be real. When it comes to the whole Zelda timeline thing, it's a it mess. just feels... It's a mess. And I feel like what happened was that there was never a timeline to begin with. Pretty much Shigeru Miyamoto and Nintendo were just trying to make a fun franchise, but when people started to, bu started to bug them over and over again over... Hey, what's the timeline of the game? Hey, what's the timeline of the game? They just decided, okay, fine. Here is a Son of quote a unquote bitch. crap. Yeah. Oh, you have to do it. All. I mean, at least you know what type of um, pathway you have to take. Uh, I was never good with stealth. Uh, stealth is kind of tricky, especially in a platformer like the platformer in a game like this. And you just become tiny? No, there's no portal. There's no um, entrance for him to go tiny. Oh, 
there you go. Yes, those grunts are totally not going to alert him. Like, I must have gone. Just take a hit. Uh, no. Yeah. Damn it. No, other way. We got a rupee. God. Keep stu <laughs> I keep stupidly calling rupees rupees. <laughs> Which is essentially, I think, the Russian currency. What? Uh, you mean the dead currency? Are you serious? Oh! I stuck my sword at it and it didn't hurt him? <coughs> Wait, I didn't know rupees was a dead currency, now. I mean, it's, it's basically worthless around the rest of the world now. Except for, uh, like, allied countries to Russia. Okay. Oh, yeah, because of... <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. It's a bubble! Bubbles! Oh, God, it's another timeline scenario! How many fucking timelines are there for Zelda now? I yes. <laughs> ah, I think there's like maybe five or six. Or who knows, maybe three, I think. I mean uh, as much as I that. as much as I want to get excited about Breath of the Wild 2 at the same time, it's like I don't know. I, I hope they're not just reusing the same map but with a few bells Tweaks. and whistles. Yeah. I mean technically it might be. But, it, I don't know. It depends what location they're at. I mean, it could be worse. It could be um, Overwatch 2. Cringe. Yeah. Okay, I so... I have no interest. So, the three timelines are... the <laughs> If the hero succeeds, and one of the timeline is during the child era, where the Sacred Realm is protected, and the adult timeline, where Ganondorf is sealed... And the other timelines when the hero was defeated. Yeah. So essentially four timelines. Best Zelda soundtrack. No, there's three. That's tough. Um, uh, I'm probably going to go with Wind Waker or uh, even Breath of the Wild. Well, it was more that rendition of the, of the Zelda theme that they did in the trailer for it. That was like, oh, God, yeah. The Breath of the Wild trailer was, like, amazing. I'm only... When it comes to Zelda soundtracks, the only one I'm familiar with is, of course, um, Majora's Mask. But that's mainly because I absolutely love uh, Song of Healing. Damn it. Uh. So let's see. If the hero is defeated, which goes into Link of the Past, Oracle sees an Oracle of Ages... Link's Awakening, which then goes into the original Son Zelda, bitch. Zelda, and then the adventure of Link. Okay. And if the hero is successful, it goes into Majora's Mask, because of Ocarina of Time, which goes into Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess and the Four Swords and Hyrule Adventure. And I feel like... Sorry. No, so, go on, go on. I feel like the Oracle games on Game Boy Color were overhated. I had them when I was a kid. That thought they were fun. I loved those games as a kid. I tried to get into them, but when I, like, over the years, when I tried to play it again, like, I had to look up a strategy guide, because uh, the one I played was Seasons, and apparently there's a section where you have to do a specific order of using your wand for whichever Seasons there were in some particular cryptic order, and I'm like... How was anybody supposed to figure that out on their own? Oh yeah, I didn't even know oh. about that. I had to that one too. You know what the funny thing is though? Ages is the one that's more uh, puzzle based and shit. Oh, okay. I like Seasons and Ages. I, I think I just prefer Ages to Seasons sometimes. Under understandable. Perfect. Okay. Okay, and then now... there was when you beat both games and you could do that password thing to beat Ganondorf. Or Ganon. 
It really, I, I think it really doesn't matter because they're both technically the same character. What the hell? Yeah. Ganondorf is... I, hmm? I find him more interesting as Ganondorf than as Ganon. Because I think with Ganondorf, he's a lot more cunning and a lot more yeah. um, sly, I suppose. As Ganon, he's just a, he's just a beast. He's just a... I mean, to be fair, his beast form is because of punishment for trying to get the Triforces. I know, but still, like, because I mean... Of good things I mean, fun. also, because he was born as a male. <laughs> Alright. Oh, yeah, in an all-female tribe. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, okay, makes Oh, no, our child has a penis! <laughs> oh, Damn the it. object horror! Damn it, no. Also, also, now Why? I get the... Uh, now I get the timeline shenanigans. It's just still pretty fucking weird. I guess because when well, Maker like, makes so... bias, because it has one of the best final boss battles with Ganondorf ever. The, the Windmaker hmm. side death yeah. is when the flood got worlded, uh, flooded, so that's how the Windmaker story kind of became a thing. Well, yeah, no, Ganondorf I... came back. and yeah, yeah, I know that that's what happened in, um, in um, what was it? Wait. Wind Waker, because, okay. um... Yeah. Because I remember... Bomb bomb blows up whenever you want. If you ever need bombs again, oh. just track them down. So, want to trade remote bombs? Uh, sure. The biggest annoyance is Nintendo will not tell us where the, uh, the wild takes place in the timeline. Eh, for who know Who knows? At this Wait. Point. I th then a lot of people think it's, like, very near the very end because of how things have aged and shit. Hold on. Let me get the so, actual word. Uh, is, like, when you mean in a, 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 do you mean in the adult era? You know, after Ganondorf okay. was, um, during the Ganondorf thing, or? Breath of the Wild takes place at the end of the Legend of Zelda timeline, but Nintendo's refusal to explain which timeline is in a lazy move. The timeline for Legend of Zelda is infamous for being convoluted and difficult to understand. Breath of the Wild's uh, placement only protrudes this in issue. Jesus Christ. And I thought... And I thought the the uh, the show Dark's timelines were fucking confusing, considering I'll that. Hmm? I mean, <sighs> Zelda has a f interesting timeline, but at least it's it's self-contained. Yeah, it's self-contained, basically, uh, unlike Kingdom Hearts, where. I mean, let's yeah. be. Re I mean, let's be real. I mean, Riley, let's be real. With Kingdom Hearts, the reason the timeline is so completely confusing is because uh, Nimura literally had no idea where he was going with it. Nimura is a madman, and I love him for it. Yeah. What do you mean that the Kingdom Hearts timeline is so easy to understand? When did I say understand? I say at least the Zelda series is self-contained with their different games. With the Kingdom Hearts thing, you have to basically follow the storyline from each different individual game and spin-off. Man, I did not do Recoded. <laughs> that game was pointless. Oh, Recoded is garbage. I have never played that game and have no interest <laughs> in it. I just watched it. the cutscenes because like after like going back researching of Kingdom Hearts at the Kingdom, Hearts, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, I went back to like Recoded and I'm just like, why did they make this game? What the fuck they, was the point? <laughs> It was a remaster of a Japan-only cell phone game version of the game in 2006. I, I mean, I got, I got that, but it has, but it, the game had literally nothing to do with the sto the main primary story except for one teeny tiny detail. Yeah, but it's like, like you could have thrown that in, you could have yeah. thrown that into like any other Kingdom Hearts game. Basically, the only mention of Recoded happens in three, and it's basically in some throwaway lines. Uh, wait, wait. <sighs> okay. I think the most frustrating thing about the Kingdom Hearts timeline is literally the fact that just when you think that you got it correctly, Nomura has to release another <laughs> game, and then it's like, oh, it takes place between the prequel of the sequel of the midquel before the events of Kingdom Hearts 2. It's like, what? Nomura has defined the word retcon in all of its glory. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but even Kojima isn't this fucking convoluted with his timeline shenanigans. Oh, look. Look at this guy. His name is Ansem. He's the one who's doing all this thing, except he's not actually the bad guy. He's the heartless of another guy named Xehanort who just called himself Ansem. And then, yeah. Oh, and then there's these nobodies who don't have hearts except for when they do. 
I can see why Golden is very, very hesitant about Kingdom Hearts. It's not so much as the story. It's the same problem that I had with other games of where am I supposed to go? How am I supposed to do this? How was I supposed yeah. to figure that out? That shit it's will very... drive me nuts. The first game was especially cryptic, I will admit. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. I remember playing it as a kid, and I kept dying all the time. And since I was a bratty little kid, I found myself throwing a fit every single time I died.